Today, I'm going to be sharing with you Psalm 127. So welcome to the Daily Psalm series video here today. And let's get into the Word of God. A Song of Ascents of Solomon Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. And that's all Psalm 127 says. But what I'm really receiving here today is the fact that we must be careful to not try to have a hand on everything, not try to take control of everything, because we must understand that when we worry, it's because we are putting way too much confidence in how much effort we can bring to the table to bring us safety, to bring us finances, to bring us provisions and what we need. We have been given abilities though. Of course, God has equipped us with everything that we need to carry on, survive, look after ourselves. But the moment we allow worry into our lives is when we think we have the power to fix our situations and we lack faith in God. It clearly says in Matthew chapter 6 to not worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink or what you're going to wear. God knows we need all these things, but our job is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to us as well. So there is a job for us to do, and that is to seek God's face, to put him first, to do what he has called us to do. And so I hope this video today is going to help you to worry less, to let you know that you have the creator of the universe fighting your battles, coming through for you, providing for what you need, showing you what your job is. Because yes, we do have a job to do. Yes, there are things that we should do. But let's not fall into the trap of getting so in fear and worried about our lives because there are many things that we cannot control. I mean, every day has its own surprises. That's why the Bible even says in Matthew 6, 34, don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has enough trouble of its own. So do what God has called you to do today. And if you don't exactly know what that is, pray. Ask God what it is that you are to do right now today. And God will show you and it will be a blessed and wonderful day. We need to be more confident in Christ and have more faith and trust in God than be so concerned and worried about the things of life, but rather do what God has called us to do. Amen. Praise God, guys. Allow me to pray for you, though, before we close off today's video. Lord God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word today, Lord. Thank you for fighting our battles, for coming through for us, for providing for us. I just pray right now for the person watching this video today, Lord, that you would show them that there is no valid reason to fear, but to only trust in you, Father God, and to not worry and be so concerned with the things of this life, but to trust in you, Lord, that you will take care of all their needs. So right now, every spirit of fear, I command to flee from the person watching now in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, for your peace that surpasses all understanding to enter the person's heart today who's watching and I just pray that every worry right now melts away in Jesus name. Thank you Lord for the plan and the purpose that you have for us. So show us Lord what we need to do today. Show us Lord how we can live for you and please you today and give us peace to know that tomorrow will worry about itself. So show us everything that we need to do on our journey ahead Lord. And we give you, Lord, all the glory and the praise and the honor for this, Lord. And I pray a blessing over every person who will come across this video, Lord. In your mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for Psalm 128. God bless and may the peace of Jesus rest upon you in his mighty name. Amen.